Deciding when it's time to hang up the keys for good is never an easy decision. But when driving puts yourself and others in danger, it's time to consider your options. Paul Smith had his wake-up call a few years back after suffering a stroke. He did some soul searching and tested his abilities behind the wheel. I got in the car and I went around the block and I, I drove and I found out that I was okay. I was alert, but I also noticed there was a little slowness too. Usually when you're driving, you, uh, you see something, bam, you react, okay? Uh, I'm seeing something and going one and then reacting. Paul's self-awareness and sense of responsibility is rare. I renewed my license a couple days ago. My birthday was on Groundhog's Day. They check your eyesight. I didn't have to take a test, but they check your eyesight and uh, you're set to go. Writing tests and driving demonstrations are only administered to first-time drivers. The only way your license can be called into question is through an evaluation referral. Those types of requests are typically filed by law enforcement after a traffic stop, doctors who notice a patient's health is deteriorating, or family members who are concerned with their loved one's abilities. My dad kept running off the road, and, and then we finally had him move in with us, and we said, you're not driving anymore. We took his license and everything else, and. That was it. Any driver of any age can be referred for evaluation, but sufficient evidence must be provided to the state. Evaluation referral forms are available at every branch office and online. While they are anonymous, you must include the person in question's full name and address, as well as your own, in order to maintain the integrity of the process. Qualified referrals will be administered both written and road tests, which can lead to restrictions such as only being allowed to drive within a certain radius of your home, during daylight hours, or an all-out revocation. Well, you gotta be able to see people coming up alongside you and if you can't do that anymore then it'd be like a deer you know all you can do is look forward you know? Paul knows he can't drive forever and he is a measuring stick for his ability where I'm not a nuisance on the road so and hopefully I'll I'll, I'll know that until then he'll keep looking both ways with a little help from his wife in Marquette I'm Rick Tarsitano for TV6 News